We all love to feel the sun's rays when we're enjoying the great outdoors. I love it no matter the season, but sun worshipers beware. Those rays can be really harmful to your skin. There are, however, ways to protect ourselves, and we really must do this. With more on this is dermatologist Dr. Melissa Lazarus of Lazarus Dermatology in Miami Beach, Florida. Boy, you're right around the corner from me. So you're right here. Welcome to Miami. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking Thank you. of Miami, lots of sun. I'm sure you've been exposed to it as well. This month is Melanoma Awareness Month. And even though people are aware, sometimes I wonder if they really are because they are unprotected. Well, it's a lot of people don't think that they have to be protected all the time. Right. And really, no matter where you live, either living in South Florida or living in the Midwest the or living in the, the mountains, sun. the sun is the sun. And it's whether it's cloudy or it's a sunny day, we need to be protected every day. And when I I was growing up, I don't know if this happened to you because you grew up here as well. You know, my mother took care of me, but way back when we didn't have this awareness. So I'm going to give you the classic picture of my weekends. We would go to the beach, fabulous five friends of mine, and we would all put baby oil. I'm not kidding. From head to toe, aluminum foil, and then we just wanted to toast and burn. Again, innocence, but all that can be really harmful. Absolutely. I'm sure I'm paying the price right now for that. <laughs> hey, I grew up down here too, so I had the same issues. You know, sun protection is cumulative over time, so the damage continues to accumulate. So it's really important to start very young with sun protection, but it doesn't mean as you get older we should stop. It's something we could, should continually do throughout our lifetimes. And we know that there are so many cancers, but skin cancer is the most common of all cancers, and it can be so serious and deadly for that matter. Exactly. Well, skin cancer is the number one type of cancer. One in five Americans will have skin cancer in their lifetime. Wow, it's that's huge. startling. It's huge. And one in 50 will get melanoma, which is a deadly skin cancer. People don't believe that you can die from skin cancer, but I've seen it happen. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, it's really important just when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is like brushing your teeth. We should put on sunblock. That's the first step. When you're going to be outside, we should be wearing hats, should be wearing sunglasses, sun protective clothing, not trying to get tan. There's no such thing as a healthy tan. So the idea that being tan is something that's, that we want to do is something we really want to avoid. A spray tan is fine. The other thing we should really do is avoid the sun at the, the peak hours. So really make an effort. But the sun can come through the glass in our cars. It comes through the windows in our offices. So really being vigilant every day is important. My kids laugh so much at my mom because she'll drive when she picks them up and she wears these little gloves to yeah. cover this part. They call her Michael Jackson. <laughs> but she tells them, I am getting sun right now. So she really is vigilant about it as well. It's important. And I think because we learn over time that the, the damage is cumulative. If you look at older people, they have brown spots on their hands, brown spots on their chest. You know, we see all these changes. And what do you like about this sunblock? I know you brought this today. Well, this sunblock's Arifatona Actinica. It's an ultralight emulsion. It's, it's UVA and UVB, so it's broad spectrum, okay. protective. It's an SPF of 50. Um, it also has DNA repair zones, which help boost the skin's natural recovery process. And it also has vitamin E in it, which is an antioxidant. And what about for someone who maybe has, oh, sensitive skin or acne? This product's non-comedogenic, so it's not going to cause acne. But try it on. Is Put it a little thick? bit on. No, it's an ultralight emulsion, so it's very thin. You only need a little bit, just a little bit. And I could and apply it on my hands. You can put it on your hands, on your face, on your chest. Oh, it's very light. Mm -hmm. And just this little bit, for example, my driving in the car would protect me. All sunblock should be reapplied every two hours. This sunblock is water resistant for 40 minutes. A little bit here goes a long way. Yeah, all you need is just a little bit. So again, get up in the morning, put some on my face, my neck, my hands, and I'm ready to go. All the, any exposed area. And it doesn't matter where you live, because I know I'm a South Florida queen here, but even if you're in the Midwest, I mean, the sun is the sun. If the sun is the sun. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy. It doesn't matter if it's sunny. We know that a lot of people who ski get a lot of skin cancer because they're closer to the sun, so there's more radiation there. So the UV rays are everywhere. They're always around us, and you should always protect yourself. Do you need a prescription for this? Nope. And for more information on this, where can we find this doctor? Um, this product is sold in some dermatologist's office. It's also available on isdin.com. Uh, that's I-S-D-I-N.com. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I'm you. going to give it a try. And for more information on protecting your skin from too much sun exposure, remember you can check out our website, thebalancingact.com.